to treat asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD. One option is Symbacort. Here's what you need to know if you've been prescribed this medication. Symbacort, an inhaled medication, combines two types of medications. One is bunesonide, which is a steroid. It helps reduce inflammation and swelling in the airways. The other medication is formoterol, which is a long-acting bronchodilator. It opens up and relaxes the airways. Relaxing and opening up the airways can help reduce symptoms of asthma and COPD, such as shortness of breath and wheezing. This can help make breathing easier. For both COPD and asthma, you'll typically take two inhalations of Symbacort twice a day. For asthma, your dose may depend on how severe your symptoms are and your doctor will help you find the right dose. It's important to remember that Symbacort is not a rescue inhaler. It does not provide immediate relief when you're having an asthma attack. Instead, it helps provide lasting relief throughout the day to ease symptoms and help prevent attacks. Your prescriber will help you go over the difference and make sure you know how to use each of your inhalers. Your prescriber is the person who wrote you the prescription. This may be your primary care doctor, nurse practitioner, physician's assistant, or a specialist like a pulmonologist. They'll work with you and your pharmacist to form your care team. Your prescriber knows your health history, so they know how the medication will help meet your treatment goals and how it might affect other parts of your health. Both your pharmacist and prescriber can answer questions about how to take Symbacort. In general, hold the inhaler upright, shake it well for five seconds, and then remove the mouthpiece cover. Breathe out fully and then close your lips around the mouthpiece. Breathe in deeply and slowly while you press down on the top of the inhaler. Then hold your breath for 10 seconds. Release the top of the inhaler and then breathe out. Shake the inhaler again and then repeat for your second puff. If it's your first time using the inhaler or it hasn't been used in more than seven days, make sure to prime your inhaler by spraying it away from you twice. You should rinse out your mouth with water after using your Symbacort inhaler. This helps prevent a fungal infection called thrush. Both your prescriber and your pharmacist can answer your questions about side effects, which may include the common cold, headaches, upper respiratory tract infections, or sinus pain. Don't be afraid to ask your pharmacist or provider about affordability. These days, there are many options for low-cost ways to get your medication.